just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. This is the Bones Coaches Report. Let's get it straight from the 49ers head coach, Jim Harbaugh, right now. Brought to you by Stevens Creek Toyota, with deals so amazing, they can't say them on the radio. Uh, Only at StevensCreekToyota.com. All right, uh, we've got the coach on with us right now. Coach, how you doing? Doing good. Morning. Hey, good morning. Nice, nice to have that win at home. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Good, uh, uh, good win. Players, uh... Players sucked it up now. They uh, they overcame some things. Uh, we had some things that went against us in, early in the ball game, first and second quarter. And uh, you know, our, 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 our players hung together. Defense played an amazing game. Offense uh, had some big plays, got the job done, some long drives. And uh, and uh, we rallied on special teams after, <clears throat> after some early uh, adversity. I was really proud of our team. Well, you know, and it was a little different from the uh, the two losses you had uh, earlier in the season when uh, the team kind of hibernated in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. And this time, you're behind at halftime instead of ahead like you have been, but yet you came back in the second half, which has been uh, a little different. Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I think a, a lot of our our team was being criticized for, for not playing well in the second half and, and the, the score of the – second half score that comparison etc and uh, and our guys uh guys did a great job in the second half they they uh came back and really flipped the switch switch on that we shut them out in the second half and and uh got a great win hey coach let me ask you this how great is uh frank gore and how much do you like having a guy like that in the locker room the it there's uh, a special special player uh special person great character uh, I thought this this last game was another example of I am not going to let my team lose. And, yeah, uh, going to do everything I possibly can to to help my team win the game, and and that's the way he played. Uh, you know, from the start right to the finish, and he's a great example for for young players. Great example for uh, you know how to play the game of football. How are uh, Vernon Davis and uh, Anthony Davis doing after the game Sunday? Well, they're sore, uh, but you know you hope that you get a get a couple days here and they uh, they can start feeling better. They're big, big, strong guys. Both are in tremendous shape. Uh, both in the best shape of their their careers coming into this this year. So you hope that that factors in and that they'll be able to walk those injuries off in a, in a shorter amount of time. Hey, uh, coach, we've got to ask you about this because we've been talking about it all morning long, and it, that your response. I'm proud of your freaking response with uh, the Deion Sanders report that uh, blah, 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 this is going on, that's going on. And you just said, you know what, it's a load of crap. I think we have it here. I know you you obviously, you said it yesterday, but I'd like to remind the uh, the listeners, and probably your best all-time answer at a press conference. Deion Sanders last night on the NFL Network, owned by the league, said that players don't, the 49 players don't want to play for you anymore. Uh, do you have any reaction to that? Do you at all believe there's anything to this? Yeah, personally, I think that's a bunch of crap. Love it. I think that's the way to address something like that. You like talking about the uh, you like talking about the, the players that played the game, uh, especially when you come off a, a big win like like we had this Sunday, and the way our guys sucked it up, guys that were you know playing with some some injury you know or not injury but they were you know they were hurting uh, eric reed a guy uh and he sucked it up and, and played through it uh stevie johnson woke up he was he was sick as could be uh sunday morning and uh went out and caught a crucial touchdown pass for us uh on and on and on i could go and yeah and especially the way the guys responded to the the early adversity with competitiveness and and really refusing to to lose and you know we got to find a way to win and and uh, that's the kind of things that i was looking forward to talking about uh, yeah you know yesterday and today yeah, yeah. yeah well i personally i think that's a load of crap but uh, <laughs> you know we, <laughs> we we are uh, developing a a list of uh, some of your best i mean that is the all time i think that's at the top uh, of my that's list no, no no that's not number one i've got a number one here oh yeah yeah the gobble gobble <laughs> Around, that's just a bunch of gobble gobble. That to me is still my favorite one. 
And then you had also had a good one with us, I think, uh, last season when uh, yeah, we said... Fail to see the humor. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the fail to see the humor in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, hey, you're you the, know what? You're the fun. You're the fun. Well, uh, no, but at least it, uh, it, you came out, and, and I think some people, when it comes to unnamed sources, and you addressed the unnamed sources yeah. yesterday as well, saying that, um, you know, when people name unnamed sources... Yeah. You don't want to put a lot of stock in it because if you have something you want to say, you should identify yourself. Exactly. And for you to say it was a bunch of crap, I think a lot of people think the same thing. Now, I applaud what, you for that. Whether there is something or, or not to the story comes out later on, well, but for right now, on. it's a bunch of crap. Let, let me tell you this, and I just want to add, I played sports growing up, and it was hockey, it wasn't football, but who said you're supposed to like your coach anyway? This is not a popularity contest. Right? That's what I would say to Deion Sanders. Well, a couple of things I would say to you is, uh, number one, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, it's like if you do have a good story to tell, yeah. you, you want your name on it. You know, I, I, you know, you want to put your name on it, I would, I would think. If, yeah. Uh, secondly, I just uh, – the, the way our guys, the way our players, the way our coaches, you know, have always gone about things is, is they, they, don't, they don't pay a lot of attention to the noise. And, yeah. Uh, you know, if there's outside the, the team – framework i mean somebody wants to divide 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 then our guys respond with unite 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 uh very proud of that it's a joy to coach guys like that you know i and coach i didn't play a ton of sports my athletic career ended after high school but back in the day and we're going way back you know here. that's what it takes though right <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly hold on i think this was in the leather helmet day wasn't <laughs> yeah, it, it really was <laughs> The leather helmets, that's the reason I'm in radio. But, I mean, back when, even in high school, we had a coach that ended up playing in, or coaching in the NFL. Yeah. A guy by the name of Gil Haskell, and he would always say uh, about the locker room, what you say in here, what you do in here, what you hear in here. Stays in stays here. Stays in here when you leave here. Whatever happened to that? Uh, I, I, I don't know what you're... Uh... Twitter. Twitter. You're, saying, you're saying it's not like that anymore? Yeah. I, I don't think so. All this stuff seems to come out of the locker room with unnamed sources when it used to be everything, it, whatever happened in the locker room stayed in the locker room. Yeah. Well, you're, make, you're making the assumption that it's coming from the locker room. Yeah, Paul. Well, that, that's the <laughs> that's the assumption that was made yesterday yeah. in the uh, press conference. And, and you're perpetuating it. And I say, and I say, it's a load of crap. I'm all right, the coach. there all right. we go. Let's, <laughs> all right, we'll end it let's, on we that. Gotta, one. Yeah, let's move on to a big week here. We got the. <laughs> hey, now, did you watch we Monday got night? A's. We got the A's today. Did you watch Monday Night Football last night? <laughs> I did. I did. I watched it. And Man, that it, was really something. Yeah, uh, Chiefs got a heck of a football team. They, yeah. What a great performance. All right, Coach, good luck. Uh, good luck this weekend. You got the Chiefs coming up on Sunday. Against Kansas City. And uh, listen for Paul doing the PA announcements again. I will say nothing about the <laughs> locker room on the PA. <laughs> How about, uh, good luck to uh, Bob Melvin and the A's today, 5 o'clock against Kansas City. Yeah, and Sounds good luck good. to the Giants tomorrow against Pittsburgh. All Absolutely. right, Coach. And good All luck right, to you guys this weekend. Nice talking to you. All right, there we go. Coach Harbaugh, eh? Hey? There and he go. was in a good mood with us you today, too. You got a full-on laugh out yeah, of him. Yeah, a couple of laughs out of him today. Wow. <laughs> That's been the Coach's Report with 49ers head coach Jim Harbaugh. Brought to you by Barracuda Networks, cloud-connected security and storage solutions for businesses of all sizes. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.